If your yard is divided by a paved driveway, you can just let your mower pass by it. If the driveway contains expansion joints, just place the cable there. If not, you can make a thin slit with a grinder intended for the surface you have. Secure the wire with silicone or similar. In general, we never recommend to let the mower drive on gravel. The risk is high that the mower will get stuck and a paved passage is therefore recommended. If you have a yard with a remote section, it's a good idea to connect the guide wire here to help the mower find the area and ensure faster way back to the charging station. If the passage is smaller than six and a half feet, we strongly recommend doing this. In the passage, the minimum distance between the boundary wires is two feet. As the mower tries to avoid creating tracks in the lawn, it follows the guide in various distances. The mower always drives to the left of the guide wire towards the charging station. Therefore, the guide wire should be placed closer to the right boundary wire, seen from this view. If you have several remote areas, there are Husqvarna Automower models with several guide wires. In this case, there are two remote areas, one that can be reached through the passage we just described and one area behind a fence. If possible, an option is to make a small hole for the mower in the fence. Lay the boundary wire through the hole and fence of the area in the same way as the main area. Make sure you don't cross the wire. Choose a Husqvarna Automower model with dual guide wires. Keep the wires together in a straight line a few feet until you split them. Lay one through the narrow passage and the other through the hole in the fence. Connect both wires to the boundary wire. In the menu, you can set how often the mower should go to separated areas. If you have a model with only one guide wire, you can do as follows. One option is to place the charging station in one of the remote areas. In this case, it will also be hidden in the backyard. Then lay the guide wire through both narrow passages. In the mower settings, you can program it to start in the different areas according to size. The next option is to keep the charging station in the main area. Then, in this case, you should always lay the wire through the smallest passage. You can then set the mower to follow the boundary wire to the other remote area. If an opening in the fence is not an option, you can carry the lightweight mower back and forth. When placing the boundary wire, choose a suitable spot from the main to the secondary area and fence of the area in the same way as the main area. Make sure you do not cross the wire. In this case, you won't need a second guide wire. When you'd like to mow the secondary area, make sure the mower is fully charged and carry it to the area. Press the Start button and select the Secondary Area option. Otherwise, when battery runs low, it will start searching for the charging station instead of mowing. When the battery is empty and the mower stops, bring the mower back to the charging station. Remember to switch back to the Main Area option when you want the Main Area mode. If you have sidewalks like this, you can make thin slits and incorporate the sidewalks in the main yard. If it is large enough, you can treat it as a remote area and make a passage with a guide wire. Or make it to a secondary area and carry the mower manually. Now we are almost done with the installation. You just need to connect the wires. Route the cables through the openings. Take a measurement at the contacts on the charging station. Cut off any surplus wire. Stick the wire into the plug. Fold over and squeeze with pliers. This is important when connecting. The boundary wire coming from the left-hand side must be connected to the left connection and vice versa. 
Finally, connect the guide wires. Place the charging station on the ground and secure it with the supplied ground screws. Make sure no wires can get in contact with the mower. If installation has been done correctly, the LED light in the charging station will glow steady and the mower can start its work.